Hey there, welcome back guys. In this video, we're gonna show you how to live stream to YouTube. That's right, you've met the threshold and now you could live stream to many platforms of your choice and you wanna live stream. So without any further ado, come, let's get started. Again, there's a minimum requirement uh, that's needed that you have to meet in order to be able to live stream to YouTube. If you met that, that's great. I'll leave it in the description down below, a link to that because it's always changing. Um, so, you know, you decide if you're there and you know you're there if you're here. Um, so you're gonna go to create right here, right? And then you click go live. Now there are different ways to go live. You have two different keys, three different keys or many different keys to choose from if you set it up correctly. So you saw I pressed the uh, go live button, right? That little plus thing on the side in case you're wondering and you missed it, I'll just go back. And then you see right there, create. And then you click go live. You can schedule streams, but before you schedule streams, this is what you wanna do, okay? Once it loads, you can click edit, right? So edit will bring in the default settings. We'll call it edit. Um, Finally made it to YouTube, right? Uh, and you wanna make sure um, that you change the title, put a description in, uh, set it to private at first just to test it. If you're gonna be scheduling a stream, you wanna make sure it works because you don't wanna give your viewers a slash subscribers notifications like, oh my God, Lou's live. And then you're just testing your stuff. Some people might like that, the voyeurs, um, and others will be like, well, what the, you know, I don't understand, you know, I keep coming in every five minutes. So don't do that. Set it to private until you're ready to go live and, you know, work out the kinks. Um, thumbnail needs every stream needs a thumbnail to make it intriguing and enticing uh, for your viewers. And then you have here, um, set it to wh where you want it to go. Playlist. If you don't have any playlists, add one. I call mine live streams or how to's, we you know, whatever works for you. Um, and then, you know, you just click and check the boxes as needed, but also set it, the tags according to, um, what you think people might be looking for at the time. In my case, it would be how to live stream and some people live stream, how to live stream. Um, because some remember YouTube has billions of viewers on there. And sometimes people might be looking for whatever it is you might be streaming at the time. And then YouTube will push that. Or maybe your viewers, you know, will, will find you that way. And sometimes people pop in and be like, yo, what are you doing? You know, and then I just tell them. Um, then you click save. Okay, so now we have our title set. Now we need a key. This is a default key. The default key, leave it as is. This way you can stream anytime if you have streams scheduled. So what I'm going to do is click on the drop menu, right? And I'm going to click create new stream. And we're going to call this how to YouTube, right? You know, you can grammar, put the caps up, capitalize it, whatever. Leave the description, um, how to set up your YouTube channel, see? And leave the RNTP as it is. And then we can, you know, I don't mess with the manual settings. I just click create. And so now if I go back to my YouTube channel right here, select, um, how to by Lou. And if I want to go live, right, let's say that stream's already scheduled. So it has a designated key. I click go live and see, there it is, but I want to stream, uh, something else, right? Maybe I'm going to stream how to basket weave or Osmos camera. As you can see, there's no error here. Uh, finally made it to YouTube. And then see default stream, right? And sometimes, um, so now I have to copy this key because I'm doing a default stream, right? And then I'm going to hit my stream button. Whoops. And then go here. And I'm going to put that key, that default key, because now I'm streaming from a uh, different experience. I'm using my default key instead of my scheduled stream key. Put that there. Press save. And then now if I stream, it should be able to push here without any problems. Wait for it. See, kind of neat, huh? But we have a scheduled stream for the other key and just wait for it. Uh, we have this, there is no start or stop button here because um, it's a live stream. It's not scheduled. And as you can see, there we are. Yay. And if you want to see me, of course, we have to go back into the other app because the camera is being used uh, for something else. 
And let's see what we have here. So now I'm just going to switch the camera. Let's go to here. And then voila. I wonder if I can see the um, other cameras. No, I can't see it in case you're wondering what that sound is. It's actually the uh, 3D prints. And, if, you know, it would show up big screen like that. Because I'm doing a screen recording, that's why we um, we don't see it in this window over here. Um, but I could show you uh, in another window. We'll block this over here. And right over there in that window is a 3D print happening. And so now you know how to schedule a stream, right? And still be able to use existing default key. Okay? Just gonna, oh, and when you stop the stream from a scheduled stream, you'd stop it from your software, right? But sometimes you have to end the string here. I've had viewers and subscribers text me and be like, yo, Lou, the stream's still going like 10 hours later. So make sure you end your scheduled stream. Usually the live stream that's being pushed that's not scheduled will kick off by itself. Or for some reason, sometimes um, scheduled streams don't have that same experience. And you can dismiss there. Remember, it's set to private, okay? But when you're ready, after you experiment enough times and you know you got it, then you go public, okay? Hey, and now I have an extra key. You can set up as many keys as you want, depending on the genres uh, that you'll be, um, you know, catering to. But in my case, see, I have how to YouTube. Never share your key. I'll show you the key because we're going to delete it after this because someone can stream, you know, and be malicious and uh, and do something you don't like with your channel. Um, and then you're pretty much screwed, blacklisted. All right, so never share your key, even though I just showed you. And as you see here, I'm using many cams. Many cams is good. I'll explain to you in a second why. Well, we know you right now you probably see uh, Infinity View, but since it's recording this, as you can see, I'll just do this really quick stream, right? And then you click here, schedule live stream. So I'm gonna go here to the little pencil that lets me edit. I'm gonna paste in the new key. See, the server thing stays the same. You could always leave that, the URL. There's nothing changes with that. It's your key that's private, okay? So now I'm just gonna get rid of this window, All right? Put this over here and I'm going to hit stream. Now when you hit stream, it should push. And make sure uh, before we continue that it's set to private in the beginning because I don't need for my viewers and subs to know I'm making this video, okay? So now I'm gonna hit stream and you should see it appear here. Um, yep, there I am. I'll be like, hey, welcome back, guys. Today we're going to show you how to stream. Uh, sometimes there's a delay, so that you might have seen, see, there's a delay. We already did that. And that's good because you want that delay so that, um, uh, viewers and subs can answer you and chat with you in real time. It seems like real time, but if it was in real time, you'd be like catching up with them. And there's, there's always a lag. So the lag is normal. Don't worry about seeing the lag and we'll just wait for this to catch up. I could change the window, but we're actually uh, recording. Um, so if I change the window, you're gonna lose this part of the feed, but I'll just do it for shits and giggles so that you guys can see what it's actually like when you live stream. Give me a second. Actually, I'll leave the stream running there. And there's another application called, um, where is it? Camera view. One moment, please. And please stand by. Uh, ah, there it is. Um, quick cam. Quick cam. We'll just, we'll just choose a camera here so that you can see it on this recording on that feed over there. Uh, Action 5 Pro. There we go. There I am. And you should see me any minute pop up in the corner over there. Uh, and by default, you would probably have a bigger screen like this over here on the stream. The quality is great with many cams, 4K, HD, etc. We'll get that out of the way and then wait for it. It'll zoom in. Remember, it always catches up. And five, four, three, two and one, see voila, and there's your live stream. And that, you know, you want that, you so that your viewers can see it. And the now I'll tell you about many cams. Many cams is $99 for the year, but you can set up as many cameras as you want. Um, it, it allows you to do audio, video, as you saw, we can do stuff. You saw my, my, this part of the angle, depending on how you're, you're only limited by the amount of cameras you have. 
3D printing. Maybe you want to do live streaming of your 3D prints. Maybe you want to use your phone. You can also sync your phone so that it works with many cams too. That's why, uh, no pun intended, it's called many cams. We have been using now Streamlabs. Streamlabs is great. Have not had any trouble with the audio. It gives us live chat. There are just some limitations that sometimes uh, it doesn't allow us to do when, um, um, you know, we want to do a live stream and sometimes we revert back from one or the other. Streamlabs is very expensive. It's about 200 and something dollars. We usually have the channel pay for all that stuff, but you know, we haven't gotten there yet and we're still experimenting with Streamlabs. But what I like about Streamlabs is that when you have more viewers and subs on your channel, you get a ding notification every time someone replies back, uh, which is great because you want that engagement with your viewers slash subscribers. Uh, um, so that, you know, the whole purpose is a live stream, right? People want to participate. And the other thing is that uh, many cams doesn't, I'll have that feature where you have chat notifications for people that are participating. Um, and you also want to do this. So once your stream, I'll just close this right here, is live, right? You want to um, do this before your show, right? After you set up, pop out chats, leave that, you'll see your chats window pop up here, but because it's private, we don't see any chats. If you could do unlisted, but that's okay. Some, some people like looking at my unlisted videos. And I believe uh, when you end the stream, you just click here, end stream, right? And then you'll click here, dismiss, uh, and then everything should end. And you know, you get a warning bit rate, but that's okay, we can fix that later. Um, and that's pretty much it. Kinda neat, remember to end the stream here, but also end the stream from the software so it doesn't continue to push things that are unnecessary. Um, anyway, I hope this video helped you. If you have any comments or questions, feel free to leave them down below or ideas for other videos. Remember to like and subscribe and we'll see you all next time.